Major Mohammad Ali Shah, defense analyst, is joining us for more on this story. Major Mohammad Ali Shah, uh, take us through uh, the pictures, your reaction to these pictures emerging of the location of this strike. Mr. Shah, if you're able to finally hear me now, uh, we are talking about these pictures which we've accessed now. Reportedly, the house was owned by Mavli Hamza, the director of Sirajuddin Haqqani's office. How do you view this? Uh, of course, so they, it's all interlinked. You know, the Hakai network, which is already on the UN list of terrorists, the global list of the most wanted terrorists, were part of the Taliban government, a country having a government of terrorists. So you can well imagine that. Now, when the Al-Qaeda chief, when he was residing in an office, in a building, a shed, which belonged to the Hakai network, it was connected to them. What are they going to say? Even ISIS, Khurasan, and even Taliban, they often have fights. They are often fighting each other. But they don't cousins fight. There is a fight between cousins as well, right? So it is all the same. I would not call them any different. They have, okay, ISIS, ISIS, Khurasan has a harder ideology maybe than, than even Taliban. So you can imagine, already Taliban are so barbaric in their uh, thoughts and deeds and their ideology and their actions. So yes, how do I view it? I view it as plain and simple terrorism. All these groups, be it Al-Qaeda, be it the groups which operate, which come ahead from Pakistan and operate in Kashmir, like lashkar e Toiba, like, like jaish e Mohammed, all these groups are the same. They're all cousins. They're all interrelated. They're all interlinked somewhere. They all help. They all have a soft corner for each other. And that ideology they has to be nipped completely. You know, it is the solution, as I mentioned earlier to, with you in the morning, that you kill one head, ten heads would be born further. So now what is the solution? The ideology of all these terror outfits, it's not just only putting the fear of God into them, that of course should be there, but the youth who they end up brainwashing by showing them dreams, all hogwash, all rubbish of getting who would say, I don't know, what not, which is not even mentioned there. It is like they get brainwashed and that is their silly, stupid, illogical interpretation on which they uh, sell people and they recruit people. That has to be cleaned completely because a uh, few years back we had killed Osama bin Laden, US had, had killed them. No, it's very. Then again somebody else. Then somebody else. It will be a never-ending cycle. Now how do we put an end to it? Only through education. When you educate these people, we need okay. more people. Yes, sir. Shilkan Sharma, former diplomat, is also uh, joining us at this point on the broadcast. So, what more can be said about this? I, I fully agree with what uh, Major Ali Shah has said. I, I think he speaks from the depth of his experience, I'm sure. The, the, these guys are all, uh, you know, birds of the same feather, they flock together. Again, Major Shah has said, uh, he, he's, he's absolutely right. You kill one, ten more are uh, born and, uh, and they, they spread and they get different names. So uh, they might have a different hue here or there, but uh, their ideology is the same to get better. We'll have to leave it at that. Ambassador Sharma and uh, Major Shah, as well as Rahul Gautam, thank you all for joining us.